All right, so there's your grip. That crease form between the thumb and forefinger, that V, should be going between your chin and the right shoulder. That's a better grip. That's not what you were doing earlier, though. That's a good backswing. You got a really good load there. You, you got nice torque. Your upper body is rotated nicely and your lower body is very stable. That's that's biomechanically sound. You want to turn and engage your core. Grab my sides here. You'll feel this. So when I, when I set up, I engage my core and I maintain that engaged core. And the way I do that is I have a little pelvic tilt. Just a little, a little tilt to the pelvis. It's posterior tilt. It's not anterior tilt. You know, look, when you do this, when you arch, that's anterior tilt. You want to be a little more neutral posture. Yeah. So you want to, you want to contract those abdominals and keep them engaged. Yeah. Yep. And then coming down here, you know, your oblique abdominals are your rotators for your trunk. And so... You know, you do a really nice job here of generating power. You got some tilt. Your upper body side bend is ex a little bit too much, but that's okay. You got all that lag there and stored energy in the club. And look how square that club face is. It's very good. Your hands are high because you have some thrust. In biomechanics, you have six degrees of motion. You've got rotation of the pelvis and rotation of the trunk. You've got side bend of both the pelvis and trunk. You've got sway and thrust. You've got up and down. And so you've got a little bit of thrust, which deepens the club shaft, which is why you see your hands are a little bit high there. If we look at some tour players at impact, everything looks good there except the hands are a bit high. See if I can find uh, it's Danny Lee here. So the hands are a little lower there, you see. Uh, and the reason is he's deeper with the hips. He's not thrusted. You got a little bit of this. Pelvis is going, we call that early extension. But, but other than that, I mean, man, that was nice. And look at his grip because I want you to be able to practice it and at home and just practicing your grip you know get that yeah see how his grip looks there and yours is pretty darn good right there it's getting better but you'll see here at impact with Danny Lee it's not much different pretty good impact yep your left hip is a, is a little higher, and your, your like I said, your, your upper body's tilted a little bit, but I mean that's really good extension. It's nice. And if we look at your uh, your pressure trace at impact, your weight's probably on your toes a little bit. Yeah, see, ninety-seven percent of your weight's on your right left toe at impact. There, see all that. So you, well, you're, you're going up. You got some vertical force. That's not bad. You can see your, if you watch your foot real closely, you'll see your heel comes off the ground. See it jump up there just a little bit. That's a power cert. I mean, that's vertical force. You jumping up. All right. So I'm happy with that swing. In terms of the length, it's not too long. It's good.